Martin Shore, the accomplished actor, is a name synonymous with laughter and charm. Born on March 26, 1950, in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, he has spent decades bringing joy to audiences worldwide. Short's career took off in the late 1970s when he became a prominent cast member on the popular Canadian sketch comedy show, CCTV. His memorable characters, such as Ed Grimley and Jackie Rogers Jr., quickly made him a fan favorite. In the 1980s, Short transitioned to American television and film, where he continued to make his mark. He starred in several successful movies, including Three Amigos and Father of the Bride, and even lent his voice to the animated classic, The Santa Claus 3. On television, Short's talent for comedy and drama shone in shows like Saturday Night Live and Mulaney. Throughout his career, Short has received numerous accolades, including four Primetime Emmy Awards and a Tony Award for his work on Broadway. His contributions to the entertainment industry have left an indelible impact, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Whether on stage, screen, or television, Short's talent and dedication have made him a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Martin Short is a beloved actor who has been entertaining audiences for decades. With his unique humor and memorable characters, he has become an enduring symbol of the industry. You might know him from films like Three Amigos and Father of the Bride, or from his time on Saturday Night Live. Think about what makes Martin Short stand out to you. What enduring qualities does he have that make him unforgettable? Is it his comedic timing, his expressive face, or his ability to bring any character to life? Is there a particular moment from one of Martin Short's works that has had a lasting impact on you? Maybe it's a funny line from a movie that always makes you laugh, or an emotional scene that touched your heart. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. As we explore the life and career of Martin Short, we'll share many funny, shocking, and sad facts about him, so keep watching to learn more about this talented actor. And don't forget to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Martin Short in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. From an early age, the actor's family provided a supportive environment for his creativity. His mother, a concert mistress, and his father, an executive at a steel company, encouraged his interest in the arts. Growing up in Hamilton, Ontario, the actor was exposed to theater and music, which sparked his passion for performance. He credits his grade school teacher as a key influence, igniting his love for comedy and acting. Later, during his time at McMaster University, the actor found mentorship from the drama department, shaping his path toward a successful career in entertainment. Martin Short, a renowned actor, was born on March 26, 1950, in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. The youngest of five children, Short was raised in a close-knit family. His father, a successful businessman, and his mother, a devoted homemaker, instilled in him a strong work ethic and a love for performing. As a child, Short was often sick, which led him to spend a lot of time alone in his room. To pass the time, he would put on shows for his family and friends using puppets and costumes he made himself. This early exposure to performing would later shape his career as an actor and comedian. Short attended McMaster University in Hamilton, where he studied film and television. After graduation, he moved to Toronto and began working in local theatre productions. In 1977, he joined the cast of the Canadian sketch comedy show SCTV, where he quickly gained popularity for his comedic timing and versatility. In 1982, Short moved to the United States to join the cast of Saturday Night Live. During his three-year tenure on the show, he created several memorable characters, including Ed Grimley, a hyperactive and eccentric man-child, and Jackie Rogers Jr., a fast-talking and unscrupulous salesman. Short's success on Saturday Night Live led to roles in numerous films and television shows, including Three Amigos, Inner Space, Father of the Bride, and Clone High. He has also appeared on Broadway in productions such as The Goodbye Girl and Little Me. Throughout his career, Short has been recognized for his contributions to the entertainment industry. He has won several awards, including two Primetime Emmy Awards and a Tony Award. In conclusion, Martin Short's early life and background played a significant role in shaping his career as an actor and comedian. From his sickly childhood to his time on SCTV and Saturday Night Live, Short's love for performing and his comedic talent have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Martin Short, a comedic genius, discovered his passion for performing at a young age. Growing up in a tight-knit Canadian community, he was heavily influenced by his parents' love for entertainment. His mother, a violinist, and his father, a pianist, 
filled their home with music and laughter. This lively atmosphere sparked Short's creative spirit. At the age of 12, Short experienced a life-changing event. His older brother died, leaving him as the eldest child. To cope with his grief, Short turned to humor and began perfecting his comedic timing. He found solace in making his family and friends laugh, using humor as a way to heal. Short's high school years further solidified his passion for the arts. He participated in various school productions, showcasing his natural talent for acting and comedy. After high school, he attended McMaster University, where he studied film and television. It was during this time that Short realized he could turn his passion into a career. A pivotal moment in Short's journey came when he joined the famed Second City Comedy Troupe in Toronto. Here, he honed his improvisational skills and worked alongside fellow comedians such as John Candy and Eugene Levy. This experience not only helped Short develop his unique comedic voice, but also introduced him to a network of influential industry professionals. Short's unwavering dedication to his craft and his ability to bring joy to others have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His passion for performing was ignited in his childhood home and has since burned brightly, illuminating the lives of countless audiences. The actor's journey serves as a testament to the power of creativity, resilience, and the transformative nature of laughter. Martin Short is not only a talented actor, but also a loving uncle to Jack and Joe Dahlman. Born in 1981 and 1983 respectively, the two sons of Bob Dolman and Andrea Martin consider Short as part of their family. Short's portrayal of Frank Egelhofer in the movie Father of the Bride is truly unforgettable. He even created his own accent for the character, showcasing his creativity and dedication to his craft. Moreover, Short is friends with a plethora of famous personalities, including Steve Martin, David Letterman, Conan O'Brien, Robin Williams, Billy Crystal, William Shatner, Tom Hanks, Selena Gomez, Maya Rudolph, Jerry Lewis, Catherine O'Hara, Eugene Levy, Matthew Broderick, Chevy Chase, Vicki Lawrence, Meryl Streep, Jim Carrey, Diane Keaton, Bill Murray, Amy Poehler, Kelsey Grammer, Tina Fey, and John Candy. Indeed, Martin Short's network of friends and colleagues is a testament to his charm and talent, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Born in 1950, Martin Short's journey to stardom was filled with challenges. Raised in a modest Canadian household, the actor faced financial struggles early on. Despite these hardships, he discovered a passion for performing and honed his skills in local theater productions. As he pursued a career in entertainment, the actor encountered industry skepticism. His unique comedic style, which blended physical humor and character-driven comedy, was met with resistance. Undeterred, Martin Short remained committed to his craft and continued to develop his act. In need of a breakthrough, the actor found success in a surprising place. He joined the cast of the classic sketch comedy show CTV and quickly became a fan favorite. His memorable characters, including the pompous talk show host Jackie Rogers Jr., helped establish him as a comedic force. Despite his newfound success, the actor still faced obstacles. When SCTV ended, he struggled to find roles that showcased his talents. Determined to succeed, he took matters into his own hands and began writing and producing his own projects. The result was a string of successful films and television shows, including Three Amigos and Mulan. Through hard work and resilience, Martin Short overcame early financial struggles and industry skepticism to become a beloved comedic actor. Norm MacDonald, a fellow comedian, claims that Martin Short was the inspiration behind the popular celebrity Jeopardy sketch on Saturday Night Live. MacDonald had waited for Short to host the show so that he could ask for permission to use the idea, which was originally from the SCTV network recurring sketch Half Wits. Short, in turn, had sought and received approval from Eugene Levy, who wrote the original sketch. During his time at CTV Network, Short was known for his various roles, one of which was as a panelist on Half Wits. Interestingly, at the time, Short and Andrea Martin, another SCTV cast member, were in-laws. Martin was married to Bob Dolman, who was Short's brother-in-law through his marriage to Nancy Dolman. Short's personal life was also closely linked to his professional one. He was married to Canadian comic actress Nancy Dolman, who was best known for her recurring role on the ABC sitcom Soap and the 1977 film Custard Pie. Dahlman also appeared in Short's critically acclaimed 1985 television special, Martin Short Concert for the North Americas. In 1984, the actor received widespread acclaim for his work on The Associates, a TV series that showcased his comedic talent. 
this classic solidified his status as a rising star. Another pivotal moment came with his role in Three Amigos. In 1986, where his performance alongside Chevy Chase and Steve Martin was hailed as a comedic triumph. These breakthroughs laid the foundation for the actor's enduring success in the entertainment industry. In the 1987 film Interspace, the actor Martin Short portrayed Jack Putter, a character who, after having a drink and starting to dance, exhibits moves reminiscent of another role Short is known for, Ed Grimley. This classic character, with his distinctive voice and exaggerated movements, is a favorite among fans. Martin Short's upbringing was marked by loss and achievement. His older brother, David, was killed in a car accident in 1962. Short's mother, Olive Grace Short, was a child prodigy of the violin and the first female concert mistress in North America. She was concert mistress for the Hamilton Philharmonic Orchestra. In 1935, she married Short's father, Charles Patrick Short, an Irish-born VP of Canada's largest steel company who came to North America as a stowaway. Olive Short passed away in 1968 after a five-year battle with cancer, and Charles Patrick Short died in 1970 as a result of complications from a stroke. In the film Father of the Bride, the actor played Frank Egelhofer, a wedding planner inspired by famed planner Kevin Lee. Egelhofer, with his flamboyant personality and attention to detail, brings a touch of humor and chaos to the film. In both these roles, Short showcases his comedic timing and versatility as an actor, making him a beloved figure in the world of film and television. His ability to bring characters to life and make audiences laugh has left a lasting impact on the industry. Martin Short, a legendary actor known for his exceptional comedic timing and versatility, has always brought a unique approach to his work. His artistic vision is deeply rooted in his ability to fully embody the characters he plays, often drawing from his personal experiences to create memorable and relatable figures. Short's creative process is a testament to his dedication and passion for his craft. He begins by thoroughly analyzing the script, breaking down each character's motivations, desires, and flaws. This meticulous approach allows him to create nuanced and fully realized characters that resonate with audiences. One of the most distinctive aspects of Short's style is his physical comedy. He is a master of facial expressions, body language, and vocal inflections, using these tools to bring his characters to life in a way that is both hilarious and endearing. His performances are a true reflection of his worldview, which values humor, empathy, and human connection. Short's personal experiences have also played a significant role in shaping his artistic vision. Growing up in a close-knit Canadian family, he developed a deep appreciation for storytelling and the power of laughter to bring people together. This upbringing has informed his work throughout his career, from his early days on SCTV to his more recent roles in films like Father of the Bride and Mars Attacks. Despite his many accolades and successes, Martin Short remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He continues to push himself creatively, exploring new roles and mediums while staying true to his unique vision and style. His contributions to the world of comedy and entertainment are a true testament to his talent and enduring impact. In the 1987 film Interspace, Martin Short, playing Jack Putter, shares the screen with two familiar faces in the doctor's waiting room Andrea Martin and Joe Flaherty. These actors had previously worked with Short on CTV Network and CTV Channel. Born in 1950, Martin Short is the youngest of five siblings. His brothers include the late David Short and Emmy-winning television writer Michael Short. His other siblings are Brian, Vice President of Dover Industries in Canada, and Nora, an anesthesiologist. Martin Short and Steve Martin have a long-standing friendship. Their bond goes beyond their shared profession, making them more than just colleagues in the entertainment industry. As the narrative continues to unfold, the audience gains a deeper appreciation for the camaraderie and shared history that Martin Short brings to his projects. Martin Short, a comedy legend, has significantly influenced the entertainment industry with his unique blend of humor, physicality, and character work. His impact can be seen in various areas, from sketch comedy to film and television. Short's innovative approach to sketch comedy was first showcased on the iconic Canadian series CCTV, where he created memorable characters like Ed Grimley and Jackie Rogers Jr. These characters, with their exaggerated mannerisms and distinctive voices, left an indelible mark on the genre. As per Michael McKean, Short's SCTV co-star, Martin brought something new to the table. His characters were both hilarious and endearing, which is a tough balance to strike. 
the actor's film career also contributed to his influence. In movies like Three Amigos and Father of the Bride, Short showcased his ability to blend humor and heart, creating characters that resonate with audiences. His co-star, Steve Martin, praised Short's talent, stating, Martin has a rare gift for making people laugh while also touching their hearts. He's a true original. In television, Short's work on shows like Saturday Night Live and Primetime Glick further solidified his status as a comedy genius. His ability to create and sustain memorable characters over time is a testament to his skill and versatility. Jiminy Glick, a character Short played on Primetime Glick, became a cultural phenomenon, demonstrating Short's ability to create characters that transcend their original context. Short's influence can also be seen in the work of subsequent comedians. Comedian and actor Seth Meyers, speaking about Short's influence, said, Martin Short's work has always been a source of inspiration for me. His characters, his timing, his physicality, it's all so unique and brilliant. I think many comedians of my generation would say the same. In conclusion, Martin Short's contribution to the entertainment industry is significant and far-reaching. His innovative approach to comedy, his ability to create memorable characters, and his influence on subsequent generations of comedians solidify his place as a comedy legend. Martin Short, first cousin of British politician Claire Short, is not only a well-known comedian in Canada, but also a generous philanthropist. In 1994, he was awarded the CM for his services to entertainment one of the country's highest honors. His ability to make audiences laugh while pointing out their quirks is remarkable, and this talent is evident in his stage, television, and film performances. Short's generosity extends beyond his work in entertainment. He has been a strong supporter of various charitable organizations, including Big Brothers, the Easter Seals Telethon, the Organization for Deaf Children, and the Canadian Red Cross. In addition to his professional achievements and charitable work, Short is also known for his luxury vacation home in the affluent Ontario area of Muskoka. He shares this property with friends such as Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, and Steven Spielberg and Kate Capshaw. This exclusive group of friends enjoys spending time together in this picturesque location. In short, Martin Short is not only a talented comedian and actor but also a generous and thoughtful individual who has made a significant impact on Canadian entertainment and beyond. Martin Short the accomplished actor is known for his exceptional comedic timing and versatile performances. However, his life extends beyond the stage and screen, revealing a man deeply committed to his personal values and interests. Short's upbringing in a close-knit family has significantly influenced his work. Born in 1950 in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, he was the youngest of five children. His parents, both of Irish descent, instilled in him a strong sense of humor and a love for storytelling. These early experiences shaped his career, leading him to create memorable characters that resonate with audiences worldwide. The actor's philanthropic efforts are equally noteworthy. He has long been a passionate advocate for cancer research and patient care, inspired by his late wife, Nancy Dolman, who passed away from ovarian cancer in 2010. Short is actively involved in various charitable organizations, including the Princess Margaret Cancer Center in Toronto where he has contributed significantly to advancing cancer care and research. Moreover, Short's interest in the arts extends beyond his professional life. He is a dedicated supporter of arts education, recognizing its importance in fostering creativity and self-expression among young people. In 2019, he donated one million to the Yale School of Drama, his alma mater, to establish a scholarship for students pursuing a career in the performing arts. In summary, Martin Short's life is a testament to his unwavering commitment to his family, personal values, and various causes. His philanthropic efforts and support for arts education reflect his belief in the power of creativity and the importance of giving back to the community. As you reflect on the career of Martin Short, one question comes to mind what makes his work so special? Is it his ability to jump between comedic and dramatic roles with ease? or perhaps it's his knack for creating unforgettable characters that leave a lasting impression? Take a moment to consider the actor's range, from his early days on CTV to his more recent work in films like Father of the Bride and Three Amigos. And let's not forget his unforgettable turn as the lovably eccentric lawyer, Nathan Thurm. Now, think about how the actor's work has impacted your own life. Have you found yourself quoting his jokes or imitating his characters? or perhaps you've been inspired by his ability to tackle any role with confidence and grace. Whatever your thoughts may be, we want to hear them. Share your reflections on Martin Short's work 
and legacy in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's continue to appreciate the artistry and talent of this classic actor, and all those who have left their mark on the world of film and television.